to press the little red button. Okay, okay. So, this is the second day on our big New York holiday. And Lisa is about to receive her second gift. And Lisa's been led... Her third gift, because New York was the first gift. She's been led blind from the bedroom. And she's been led blind, so follow me. She's been given a coffee, so she's happy about that. Okay. Uh -huh. I bet it's a frame, something in the frame. Okay, now sit, sit, yeah, sit, come here, keep walking, keep walking, keep walking, keep walking, keep walking, keep walking, keep walking. <laughs> okay. Turn around. Now sit back, sit down. Okay. Okay. Okay, you ready? Yeah. In three, two, one, open your eyes. <laughs> open your eyes. A birthday fairy tale. Oh my goodness. <laughs> what? <laughs> wow, these are the same things you did. Oh, wow. So, wait, go up there and you have to read. Once upon a time. Follow the numbers. <laughs> there was a seamstress named Lisa who met a sailor named John for her first but no, look, first, follow the number. Three. John was a wild one. Here he is on his motorbike. <laughs> they fell in love and always kissed outside of public toilets. <laughs> For her 35th birthday, John took Lisa on his boat, the Phoenix, is that the name of your boat? Mm -hmm. Across the ocean. All of a sudden, a magic butterfly appeared to warn them that they were in danger. A huge storm came over them and sucked their ship. Luckily, there was a desert island nearby. Oh, look at Lisa pensive on the desert island. Their ship was sunk and they were the only survivors. Oh, wow, I remember that ship. This is so cool. But this island, though uninhabited, seemed quite special. It's just like Lost. It had beautiful waterfalls with mariposas. A great beach for wood plank surfing. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty orchids and other flowers. Plenty of naturally grown food to eat nature's bounty. You're insane. It also had lots of friendly apes and chimps as well as magically friendly creatures like unicorns. This has got two horns, this unicorn. It's a two-horned unicorn. It's a two-horned unicorn. This is so cool. Evenings were peaceful and sunsets were always a show. Oh, that's in Panama. Um, although alone for many moons, the two were very happy. Least no, we until one day, on a stroll, Lisa spotted a door she hadn't seen before. John, being the brave one, knocked, and since there were no, there was no answer, he went through. Lisa followed. <laughs> all of a sudden. No, what's wrong, babe? All of a sudden. Oh, okay. They were sucked into another dimension. There were giant mushrooms here in this new magical land. Strange creatures. Even stranger food. <laughs> <laughs> and strange folk who told them they had to see the lady in charge to go back home. Her name was Gaia. Gaia told them of an evil cat that needed pure love to free them all from this holly... Hollyandia. Hollyandia. Holly Her name was Holly. <laughs> she does look evil there. Yeah. And she was mean to all in Hollyandia. So Lisa and John got on their stallions and headed to Castle Hollyandia to find the evil cat. They put on camouflage <laughs> to blend in and not be spotted by the guard. They used ice swords. <laughs> You're so funny, babe. I love this. They used ice swords to stave off evil predators on the way. They avoided cannonball fire <laughs> from Hollyander's castle guards. Just barely. barely. <laughs> Finally, at the gates of the castle, they were met by Holly's chief protectors, Finnegan and Ludwig, <laughs> ready to pounce. 
Don't look there. Okay, okay, well, look, we'll look, in. look up. But Lisa used her love spell to befuddle them. Oh wow! Just enough time to go inside the royal chamber. <laughs> That's so funny. <laughs> Where Holly stayed waiting in her bed of evil. <laughs> her bed of evil. <laughs> Lisa then used her three magic love beans to feed Holly as prescribed prescribed by, by Gaia. Gaia. Yeah. And they united their love rings to combine care power. Lisa wrestled down <laughs> evil Holly for just enough time so that John could administer the final blow, the kiss of <laughs> ultimate love. <laughs> oh. <gasps> Swishing sounds. Magic. Magic. Twirl. Twirl, happy feline. Feelings. Feelings. And feline. And a happy feline. All of a sudden, Gaia's land went from dark and colourless to filled with light. <laughs> Ollie was freed for evil. Trees began to grow leaves again. Began. Began. <laughs> Um, John and Lisa were renewed, returned. returned home, but first they went back to the desert island. island to finish their romantic birthday vacation. Lisa was so happy that her birthday became a moment to remember forever, but John still had to give Lisa her birthday gift. <sighs> now she and Holly could... Put. Put the past behind them and go enjoy this. Happy birthday, my love. And they lived happily ever after. Live Nation presents Ryan Adams. Whoa. When are we going to go and see Ryan Adams? Tonight. Tonight. We're going to see Ryan Adams tonight. No way. That's so awesome. I love Ryan Adams. I know. That's why I got you the tickets. Oh, wow. Ryan Adams. Me neither. We need to listen to his album. I know. I, have, That's so I, have, cool. I knew you liked him, so. Although it's kind of stuck a bit. It's okay, leave it there for now. Yeah, that's so awesome. It's a standing at Live Nation. No, Live Nation is a company. No, we're going to the Hammersmith Ballroom, which is a really beautiful place. Maybe the best. I love this story, but it's so crazy and amazing. Wow, this is just the best. I'll get scissors for that. Oh, it's okay, I'll find it now. I love these photos, the way you've made them into a story. That's so kooky. You're kooky. It's creepy? Kooky. Oh, kooky. I love it. Wow. Thanks, babe. I love this storybook. I want to take it everywhere with me. Can we show Jenna and Michelle today? The storybook. Well, we're not going to bring it with us, are we? No, we won't show them. We'll take, show them the video. Okay. So, uh, okay, happy gosh. birthday, babe. Thank you, baby. You're the best. <laughs> oh, my God, you're just the best. You're just the actress in the book. I hope you like that. I, was, I don't really know him myself, but I know that you like them. And I saw that he was playing on the night that we were going to be here. You don't know right now? Well, I know, I know a couple of albums, okay. Heartbreaker and that song, uh, that double album there. This is so amazing, and this story is just incredible. <laughs> Did you read the whole, the rest of it? And they lived happily ever after, the end. This is so cool. <laughs> this is just so cool. The biggest birthday card ever. It really is, isn't it? Oh my god. What a great thing, though. I love this. Where are we going to keep all this? I'm not sure. It's beautiful. Ta-da! Okay, I'm going to turn it off now. Oh my god, babe, you're just the best.